Hi, my name is Brianna and I am the Education Sales and Services Coordinator here at the Boulder Bookstore. What this means is that one of my things I do is read a lot of children's books and I want to share some of my recent favorites with you today. First we have Just Harriet, which is an adorable book about Harriet who is being shipped off to stay with her grandmother while her mom gets ready to have a new baby. Harriet's not happy. But she stays with her grandmother in the B&B she runs on a little island and Harriet tries to figure out how she can work and earn tips. And she starts to discover that there may be some mysteries hidden on this island. So she, along with her cat and her trusty little beagle, go and solve all these mysteries that are waiting for them on the B&B. &B. And she has a lot more fun than she thinks she will. Another one I really loved recently was The Secret Explorers and the Moon Mission. This is a whole series of The Secret Explorers, and they are kids from around the world who are experts in their fields like Roshni, who's great with ast astronomy and everything to do with space. So when a lunar rover gets stuck on the moon, two of the secret explorers set off to go help save it. It's a perfect series for fans of the Magic Treehouse series. And then we have the graphic novel that I absolutely loved reading recently, Ride On. It is perfect for anyone who likes horses, who is a horse person, or who just loves really beautiful illustrations, and I just want the author to illustrate my life, but it's great because Victoria has been riding at a super competitive, super high-end stable, and she's a bit burnt out. She just wants to enjoy horses again. She doesn't want to make friends, doesn't want any drama, just horses. But then she finds, of course, some new friends, and they might also like the really nerdy Star Trek-inspired show that she likes, and maybe some new friends and some laid-back horses are not a bad thing. Lovely book about friendship, and again, please, you have to see how beautiful this book is. Another graphic novel, this one had me laughing so hard, Miss Kinsis. Because all Sue wants to do is go to a live action role playing camp with her friends. Instead, she gets to go to the Honduras and spend the summer with all of her cousins. All of her cousins, and there's a lot of them. And her mom informs her that she will be having a quinceanera and wearing a very, very sparkly pink fluffy dress and a tiara for it, and Sue is not happy. But she manages to strike a deal with her mom, and maybe she's gonna figure out how she can make this quinceanera all her own. And she's got a lot of style and nerdiness to bring to it. And if you want a book full of personality, this middle grade, Simon B. Ryman, has got you covered. Because Simon is a rhymer and a rapper, and he is so good with words, and this book is full of all his songs. And yet, the very first week of school, when he is assigned an oral presentation, that's not his thing. It's gonna go badly, as, as far as Simon thinks. And so this book is about his struggle to overcome that and figure out how he can really be himself in this world. And his teacher is also a rapper, and it's fantastic. And Three Strikes Summer is a historical middle grade it takes place during the Dust Bowl in the 1930s of California when Gloria's family moves to work on an apricot farm as migrant workers. And all Gloria wants to do, instead of picking apricots and peaches and working all day in the summer, is just go and play some baseball with the other kids at the camp. But none of them want to let her play because she's a girl and according to them, girls can't play. So they bet it all on one game where Gloria's gonna pitch and if she can win the game, they'll let her play with her. And if not, it's over. So as she gets ready for this, and is practicing throwing all those apricots around, which is, which is not a good idea, she shouldn't be throwing the apricots, it also becomes about what it's like to live in a migrant camp and be one of the Dust Bowl workers, and how the conditions weren't quite fair back then. And it all comes together, and it all rests on this one final game. So I hope you check out some of those books and you enjoy them. If you like this video, you can go ahead and like it and subscribe.